Hey guys, this is Kevin. You have been requesting it for a while, so I'm excited to start making these videos. And this first one is going to be installing Type Rocket, and then we'll get into the, the fun stuff, the custom post types, the custom fields, the MVC stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First part, go to the documentation, version four. That's the version that we will install. Requirements, just make sure you meet all of these, and then move into the installation type that you want. And in this video, we'll be covering the theme installation, and then we will look at the other types of installation later on. But you'll be able to skip those if you have the theme installation and that's the one that you want. So the first part here is we need to install Type Rocket via Composer. If you don't know what Composer is, head over to the Composer website and check it out. So let's do that now. Get composer.org. And essentially, Composer is a dependency manager for PHP, and Type Rocket will be a dependency that we have. So let's get started. I need to select the installation type for Composer that I need. Um, that would be Mac Linux for me. I'll go here to install Composer locally. I need to run the project, in, or I need to run the installer in my project directory. So go to the download page here, like it says. Copy this command and jump over to my terminal. From my terminal, I can then grab Composer. So I'm gonna jump into this demo folder here and I'm going to download Composer. And that's all this is gonna do. And so once it's here, I should be able to list the files in this directory and now I have the Composer far file. To run Composer, I need to do dot slash composer dot far and then I'll list all the commands that I have. Now what's going to happen if I change my directory into the WordPress directory here and then I try to run that composer file like I did before it won't work because I have to locate where that file is first. So I have to add the dot dot to navigate to it and then it will work. So what we're going to want to do is make the installation of composer global. So let's go do that now as part of the composer installation and the best way to do that is go over the global section here I'm just going to move the composer file into my user local bin and that will allow me to run composer from anywhere. So again, uh, let's go back a directory here. I've got my composer file and then we're going to move that composer file into the bin. If I list it here, it's no longer there because it's been moved and I can run just the word composer and that'll run composer for me. So, so now, I can go over to WordPress directory, run Composer, and it will run from there, which is great. With Composer installed, we'll jump over to the next step, or the first step really, which is to download Type Rocket into our WordPress themes folder. So the themes folder will be uh, in the terminal here. I have 2019 because that's the theme that I'm using. So I'll just run composer create project, that command in the theme folder, and that will download Type Rocket into my theme. While we wait for that to download, I'm going to jump over to my IDE here. In my 2019, we'll see that Type Rocket has showed up. And then I'm going to locate and make sure that init file is in here inside of the Type Rocket folder. And you'll see what I mean when we jump over to the website and go to step two, which is to import type rocket. And then we need to add that to the top of our functions file. So I'm going to do that now. So functions.php up here at the top of 2019, save that, jump over to my WordPress installation, refresh the page. And now we'll see that we've got some things going on. We've got a dev section that showed up. If I'll jump over under near appearance, we have theme options. Scroll to the bottom of the page here. We have Type Rocket developer mode showing up. So we know that Type Rocket is installed if we see all of that. And then the last step in installing Type Rocket is to activate uh, the permalinks. So we need to make sure that we basically regenerate the rewrite rules for um, WordPress. So we need to go to settings, permalinks and then change that to post name or any of these others or custom structure. It just cannot be plain, which is the default 
that WordPress has. So I'm going to set it to post name, hit save, and now TypeRocket is installed and ready to roll.